Hello, it's Marlow from Wild Food UK and I'm standing here beside one of my all-time favourite trees. Not this particular one, but the, uh, the type of tree. This is a yew tree. It's a really important tree for foragers to, to know and to recognise. Firstly, it's uh, a highly poisonous tree. It contains a toxin called taxine, which is deadly. Um, it's been known to be deadly for quite a long time and they say that 50 of these needles is the dose to, to kill a man. The whole tree is toxic, the roots, the needles, the bark and the wood and it also uh, passes those toxins on to some of the mushrooms that grow on or around it. One of our favourites, chicken of the woods, is uh, found commonly on yew trees but if you find it on a yew tree you can't eat it. It will have taken in some of the taxine and uh, will be toxic. There are on this tree though, considering it's August, some very early yew berries. Now, I said that the whole tree was poisonous. It's not technically true, because there is one bit that us foragers do love to eat. And I'll just get a handful to show you quite quickly. Now, these berries here, you can see they're cup shaped and inside there's a pip. The flesh of these berries, when they go red, is one of the sweetest fleshy kind of fruits that you get in the UK. Now, the pip itself still has some of that taxing in it, and um, re reputedly two of the pips is enough to kill a horse, but horses don't have the same tolerance to uh, taxing as we do. It would take a lot more than two pips to kill you. Still, it's not recommended that you eat any of the pips. They are toxic and they will, in large quantities, kill you. But it's very easy to just eat the berries and spit the pips out. Job done. And uh, like I said, the flesh is incredibly sweet. It's lovely. So I'll probably chuck all of those in my mouth at once that I've got there. Squeeze the flesh and the juice out and then spit all of the pips out. But as they are cup shaped, as you can see, what you can do is get a very small pair of tweezers and get the pips out if uh, if you really want to. Now there's loads of interesting things about the yew tree. The uh, oldest trees in Europe are yew trees. The oldest tree in Europe may well be one up in Scotland called the Fontingal yew, which may be as old as six or seven thousand years. These are a very long lived tree. This one here, uh, judging by the size of it, might be a bit more than 70, 80 years old. Um, but the ones that, that do get huge, like the Fontingal yew, they can't actually uh, tell exactly how old they are because the boughs can end up 20 feet across and broken because of lightning strikes and just aging and, and also fungus eating out the inside of the tree, which is why a lot of yew trees end up hollow because after a while that's what chicken of the woods will do to the tree. It actually strengthens the tree against wind because if it's a, a hollow cylindrical structure it can bend easier with the wind and doesn't break quite so easily. As I said though, oldest trees in the country, highly toxic apart from these beautiful berries. Um, you find them in graveyards quite a lot of the time because uh, yew trees um, have been in graveyards since before the Romans came along and Catholicised all of our old pagan burial sites. So uh, there was something that our ancestors in Britain held with regard about the yew. It's, uh, it's known as the tree of the dead. What we don't know is whether they put the graveyards around the yew trees or whether the yew trees were actually planted in the graveyards. But the um, upshot of that is that still, even in our you know Catholic burial grounds, churches, graveyards, you'll always find a yew tree or two. I've been to two or three graveyards in the country that claim to have the oldest yew tree in the country, but obviously there can only be one. As I said, I believe that to be the Fontingal yew up in King Carden. But if you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.